Here's how to automate construction tasks. And to be clear, not all tasks can be automated. You need a task with consistent inputs, outputs, and process. So there's two types of triggers a task can have. It can have a time-based trigger, like a monthly payment claim, or it can have an event-based trigger, such as a new RFI from a client. So event-based triggers, you guessed it, are triggered by a recurring time frequency, weekly, monthly, fortnightly, whatever. Event triggers are more complicated. You may want to trigger it manually, like you get a new set of drawings, you want a quantity takeoff done, then you would upload the drawings, that would be the trigger to the task, or you could have it triggered by correspondence. So you give access to AI to your email inbox and you want to flag any potential variations from the client. If a variation comes up, you follow these steps. Now, triggers are the easy part. Transformation is the heart of any automation. To automate any task, you need to define the input, what information goes into the process, the output, what is the results, and the steps in the process. So if we do the example of a payment claim, the trigger is on the 25th day of each month. The input will be the progress reports from site, the site diaries, your cost tracking spreadsheet, your contract payment terms and scheduled rates. The output will be the payment claim document with a cover letter, progress summary, claim breakdown and evidence. The transformation is how you both obtain and search this data and reformat it into your payment claim template. So that is the heart of the automation and that is the process you need to understand. The easiest way to do it is to simply sketch it out step by step what happens at each task, exactly what data comes into it and exactly where that data goes and how it gets transformed.